What's up YouTube people? Back with another video and as you probably guessed from the intro this is about the Leica SL2S shooting in low light. From my experience the Leica SL2S is probably one of the best Leicas ever produced. The Leica SL2S is a super versatile camera not only because of the capabilities of shooting both videos and photos but also the fact that you can use so many lenses on this camera. You can use Sigma lenses, Panasonic lenses, Leica's own lenses, the M mount lenses. So let's talk a little bit about the camera. I have the page open here on my computer from Leica. Um, I can tell you that it can shoot 4K in Cine 4K 10 bit 422 video. Uh, you can use S logs. Um, uh, it can shoot up to 60 frames per second in 4K. I never use that uh usually but just shoot uh, 120 frames in uh, full hd and uh, it also shoots 180 frames per second in uh, full hd which i haven't used yet but i will at some point uh, just be aware that you can't autofocus in 180 but you can in 120. anyways it's a 24 megapixel sensor CMOS BSI sensor uh, which is the sweet spot for low light photography uh, the first like a Q was also uh, 24 megapixels and was amazing in low light as well um, generally 24 megapixel cameras perform really really well in uh, low light um, yeah and also the ISO is crazy on this camera as well you can go up to I don't know what uh, can't really find it here I can shoot up to 12,800 with no, uh, with no issues um, I usually don't go over 6400 but with this camera I can go up to 12,800 so that's amazing as well and you can still get like clean shots yeah of course it has in-body stabilization so uh, that's pretty cool um, yeah dust and splash proof oh uh, yeah so that's a little bit of uh, tech information like i told you i'm not a spec guy so i'm just reading this up from the leica website i don't doubt the camera one second um, you can quickly change between photos and videos so that's amazing and you can still keep your settings um, there's a guy earlier today asked me about the settings if it still keeps the settings and it does once you set your settings on the photo mode and you set the settings for your video mode you can just switch i can't tell you much more than i really enjoy shooting this in low light so let's look at some of the pictures i took the other day in low light uh, most of them i shot on uh, Panasonic 85 1.8 as I told you in my last video there's a lot of my stuff that got stolen so I recently just bought a, a new Sigma 45 2.8 I usually don't buy 2.8 lenses because um, again I need more light coming into the to the lenses but this is actually pretty decent so before I start showing you some of the pictures I took the other day uh, just quickly want to thank uh, epidemic sound for providing me all the awesome music that i use for my, all my videos and i remember you can go on their website and i'm, I'm gonna drop a link below where you can uh, try try it out for yourself for 30 days uh it's really amazing and awesome awesome library of music you can use for anything all your projects so check it out thing I would say to you is that even though you're shooting in low light you do still need light to shoot shooting in low light can be pretty uh, challenging what I usually do when I shoot in the streets of Copenhagen is that I use the light coming from the the shops um, and use the neon lights the traffic lights the re reflecting lights all the light I can use to create an image or create a, a feel um, of a movie scene so the 
there's a lot of brands out there that go out of their way to deliver you with a lot of light in the night so use it all right so that's it for this video remember to subscribe to my channel if this is something you're into and um, take care of yourself like uh, comment anything you need to know or anything you need to ask me feel free to ask me and i will do my best to answer your questions so take care of yourself take care of your loved ones peace